Hi, Irene. And as you can imagine, there has been a lot of movement and activity here at Bushnell Park today. And in fact, all week as volunteers and crew members have been getting ready for the race day tomorrow, a total of 8,000 runners will be participating. And just a short time ago, we saw as crews put up the clock and put up the final touches on the finish line. <laughs> I feel good. I feel great. Ready? Brenda Morris is from Worcester, Massachusetts, and is happy to be back in the capital city for the Eversource Hartford Marathon. I absolutely love it. I've run the um, full, I think, six or seven times. In the past, she's run the 26.2 mile marathon. This year will be her first half marathon. Wow. Yes, Very good. more time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I haven't done the half. I always hear Aww. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Brenda is among the thousands of runners getting ready for race day. The marathon brings people from all over the state, region, and country. So a lot of planning goes into making sure the course is ready for runners. Well, this is a, a very ambitious setup for that takes approximately the entire week. Um, the Hartford Marathon is a tremendous event for the city of Hartford, showcases our region, um, huge economic impact. Craig Mergens is the workforce development manager for Knox Hartford. The nonprofit works on beautifying the city through landscaping and projects in the city's parks. With the help of youth and the apprentice program, crews have been getting Bushnell Park ready for Saturday's races and after party. Uh, it's fun and interesting to be honest. I know a lot of people are going to be here in um I know it's going to be fun. Yeah, for sure. It'll definitely be a fun day. And if you haven't registered yet, you have until 9 p.m. tonight. There will not be same day registration. And keep in mind, there will be a number of road closures in the area. We have all of those up right now on our Channel 3 app. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 p.m., we're going to speak with the race director and some more runners. Reporting live in Hartford, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.